Indian Space Watch. India was hoping to become the fourth nation to make a soft landing on the moon behind the U.S., China, and the former Soviet Union. It would have been the first time a spacecraft landed on the moon's unexplored south polar region, but the Indian Space Research Organization says it lost communication with the unmanned lander. The current status is unknown. Joining me now is CBS News space consultant Bill Harwood. Hi, Bill. So, gee, the lander seemed to be operating normally until just before touchdown. Do we have any idea yet what went wrong, and is there any chance that a connection could be reestablished? Well, you never say never in the space business, but they tracked it all the way down to just above the surface, about 1.2 kilometers, I think it was, uh, when they lost contact. Uh, that doesn't look good at all. And so, uh, unfortunately, we're having to say it apparently crashed. That's what it seems like. Uh, they put the reporters out of the room at the Indian Mission Control Center and said no more updates. Uh, so it doesn't look good at all. And, it, and in fact, it's a really a crushing disappointment. Uh, to the Indian Space Agency. I mean, they really had a lot riding on this. We're very confident that it was going to work. And to lose contact like that at the last second, that's a very sad thing for them. Sure. And, Bill, this was the second apparent moon landing failure in a row. A privately funded Israeli lander crashed in April. So right now, only the U.S., Russia, and China have successfully landed a spacecraft on the moon 60 years after Sputnik. Is landing on the moon really that difficult? You know, you wouldn't think so. You would think with the technology available today that this would be something that people could do routinely, but it's not. A very senior space manager emailed me right after this happened. He said, space is hard. And it is. You know, landing a spacecraft on the moon, you've got a communications delay because it's so far away, you can't control it in real time. It takes too long for signals to get there and to get back. It has to be done by an onboard computer. That is not trivial. It's coming down. It's firing engines. It's maintaining its orientation very precisely, and it's trying to, you know, hit a specified target at a specified speed at a specified time, and it is difficult. It is rocket science in the end, and I think, you know, setbacks like this go to show you that, you know, even this far down the road in the space program, this is not easy stuff, and, and you have to spend a lot of money and do a lot of testing to get it right, and clearly, they'll figure out what went wrong in this landing. They'll correct it, and I'm sure they'll try again down the road. Uh, but it's going to take time, and it's a major setback in the meantime. And so, Bill, what kind of impact would this second mission have had on both the country of India and space exploration as a whole? Well, you know, in India, this was a really big deal. They've been very successful in their space program. They've been launching satellites commercially. Uh, they put an earlier spacecraft in orbit around the moon and even dropped a probe to the surface that, you know, kicked up some lunar soil so they could study that. Uh, they've got a a very aggressive program with their rockets. It's all homegrown technology. And in that sense, it's something they took great pride in. You know, they were hoping that this mission would sort of serve as an Apollo moment for them, mm -hmm. uh, something that would inspire the youth to go into uh, science and engineering as careers. Uh, and of course, that's not going to stop because of this setback, but it's clearly a setback. And it's something that I think they really uh, were hoping to avoid. They were very confident going into this that they had it down, they had figured it out, and it was going to work. Uh, but again, these things happen. And uh, now, like I said, I'm sure they'll recover from it, uh, but it's a major disappointment, both technically, but also, uh, I won't say politically. I don't think that Prime Minister Modi's career is riding on this, but he was a strong supporter of this project uh, and the space program in general. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I think this is something they'll have to work real hard to recover. It, yeah, it's a big I mean, disappointment. It certainly seems the whole country was watching this mission very carefully. Now, I want to ask you about the significance of the South Pole of the Moon. Were they making it harder on themselves by aiming there? And, and, and why the South Pole of the Moon? What is so interesting or important about that? Well, it's a bit more of a challenge to get into an orbit that will give you access to the South Pole. But they did that. That all worked out just fine. The reason everybody's interested in the South Pole is there are craters down there that are permanently shadowed. They never see sunlight. You know, down inside that crater, they've got evidence from orbiters that there is a huge amount of ice in these polar regions in these permanently shadowed craters. So if you could perhaps get access to that someday, you could use solar power to generate electricity. You know, you do that high school experiment where you, you, you run the electricity through it, you change it back into hydrogen and oxygen, you've got air to breathe, water to drink, 
and rocket fuel. You know, the space shuttle used oxygen and hydrogen in its main engine. So it provides at least the hope of someday living off the land on the moon, being able to fuel your missions there to go deeper into space. So uh, there's a lot riding on that. This is what NASA's focused on with their Artemis program. They hope to land astronauts at the South Pole of the Moon in 2024 and to establish a, a sustainable presence there by 2028 and being able to perhaps mine ice at the South Pole is a major objective. Fascinating stuff, Bill Harwood. We thank you. Too bad the Indians didn't make it this time, but maybe the next time is the charm. Thank you so much for that. Sure thing. Thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe.